Hey guys, my name is Ace Roth, and today I'm bringing you episode one in a series I'm doing on domination capture spots. Uh, so I'm just going to go through each of the maps alphabetically and look at some good places to capture each point. So we're going to start off with Array. Not all of the maps have um, good spots, but I try to find the best spots I can. Like for example on Array you'll see that A is pretty wide open and so is B. There's not really a whole lot you can do to keep yourself protected, but try to find something that's better than nothing. So right off the bat on A, there's really not a good place to capture it. There's just a bunch of open space. The only the only decent place I found was in these bushes over here. Keeps you a little more hidden. You can go prone. You're a little harder to see or you can crouch. But other than that, it's pretty much wide open. There's not a whole lot you can do. Going over to B. B is also particularly open, which makes it especially difficult to, um, to capture in the beginning because both teams rush B really fast. You want to make sure you're not too close to this car because it can explode. Uh, the only place I found that was really good was close to the roundhouse and just on the very edge of the point because then if there's somebody in that window they can't see you unless they jump on the ledge so it'll keep you protected from them but you're still pretty much open from anywhere else and over at C there are a few more points uh, one thing you want to make sure you do at C if, especially if you're capturing it, if you're not capturing it right away, if you didn't spawn over there and you're capturing it later in the game, you want to make sure this car is blown up. Uh, otherwise, that's a, it's a really easy way for the enemy to kill you while you're capturing it. But you can capture it from over here. If they're spawning down this way, then you can capture it from over here and get a lot of cover. You can cover roundhouse here. If your team is spawning down here and you're trying to run up an assault sea and capture it, you can actually get up right beside this building here and then they can't really see you that well from over there you can watch make sure no one's coming up from the stairs over there in the roundhouse that's a pretty good space if you've got flak jacket on then all they can really do is throw grenades and you'll be able to tank those pretty well so that's it for array now let's move on to the next map okay moving on to cracked uh, this one doesn't have great capture spots either b has some pretty sneaky stuff you can do but as for a and c there's not really you know any great spot a is kind of pretty open. Um, the only place that you can get much cover is right beside this dumpster here. You can get them if they're coming from there, or usually you can get the drop on them if they're running around here. But you can't really you can't really get it from this side. You have to poke your head out in order to capture it. So this isn't a very good spot. Other than that, it's all open. So that's really your best bet in that corner right there. B's got some good stuff from both sides. If you're coming from here, you can actually you can lay down back here. You can creep up here and capture it, and they can't see you. It's important because they can't see you from this window here. So even if there's somebody watching B there, and you're safe, uh, they can obviously get you from the sides though. So if you're the only one there, you gotta you gotta be careful. Make sure you're aware um, of people that may be coming from the sides. From this side, it's it's a little more difficult because if you crouch and crawl up here, as you can see, that guy can still see you from that window over there. So you got to be careful about that, but you can also get behind this. Just give yourself a little cover, and you can you can go prone behind this too. But they'll be able to see your feet from that window. They'll be able to see your feet sticking out, and they'll they'll also be able to see your gun kind of poking through this concrete. Uh, so it's not quite as easy to capture from this side, but there's there's still those two spots. Other than that, you can obviously like you can sit up here, get some cover from here. This is pretty good, uh, but then you you can't. Um, you can't watch your your flanks as well from there, but it's still it's still pretty good if your if your whole team is running up to assault this point. Uh, sitting right here is definitely not a bad idea. You can pop that guy there. Anyway, moving on to C. If the other team is coming from over here, coming from these hallways, these alleyways back there, you can get behind this, and you're actually really hard to see through this. Uh, they can see you and they can shoot you, but you're pretty hard to see. And if you go prone, then they can't see you at all. So that's a pretty good spot if they're coming from over there. If the other team is spawning back here or back here and they're coming down these alleyways, there's not really a great spot, but you can kind of go prone right here and then they might run by you. They might not be able to see you, especially if they're coming from here. It's really easy for them to just kind of miss you. 
Uh, if they're coming from this way, um, they'll probably see you out of their peripheral vision, but but it's better than just sitting in the middle, and especially because if they're throwing grenades, they're going to be trying to throw them right on the flag. So if you're a little off to the side like this, then you're more likely to survive. Anyway, that's it for Cracked, so let's move on to the next map. Alright, moving on to Crisis. Uh, a doesn't A doesn't have many sneaky places. It's just I think that uh, Treyarch may have tried to tried to do it that way. Tried to leave some of the points open so there's not like one place that you can stay that that makes you pretty much invulnerable while you're you're capturing a point. Uh, but you can get behind the sandbag here. It's pretty good if they're coming from there. Got to watch over here. Other than that, there's not really anything. You're just kind of out in the open. You can't you can't really get on this rock. You can't capture it from here. Um, so you can kind of you can watch this road and this road, uh, but other than that, you're, you're pretty much out in the open. Let's move to B. Okay, so depending on which side the enemy's coming from, you can kind of get behind this box here. Offers you a little bit of cover, and you can probably pick anyone off coming through there or going into that room there. Same thing for this side. You just get behind this thing, cap them as they come in. You can also capture it from here, but it's probably not as useful. Uh, it's it's harder to watch, and you don't have very much cover. So, behind that box is probably your best bet. You can also, if you think they're coming from there, you can you can get behind this. They won't be able to see you until they come in. But this box is your friend when you're capturing B. All right, on to C. He's got some pretty good spots. You can obviously capture it from behind this wall here. Then if they're coming through the door, you can get them. If they're trying to jump over the fence, you can get them. And if they're going through there, you can get them. You can also go prone here and try to kind of capture it all sneaky like. If they're up on this balcony, they won't be able to get you. Uh, and if they're on the roof, they'll be able to see you a little bit, but they might not notice you right away. So it's still still pretty good and you can kind of you might be able to get the drop on them up there. Uh, you can also capture it from this side if you want to. Uh, but you're you're a little more open. You can cover there. Um, if your if your team controls the house, this might be good. But I don't think that it's any better than this spot. This this spot's probably your best bet for C. Anyway, that's it for episode one of my domination capture point series. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll be doing uh, another video three three maps at a time for all the other maps. So hope you enjoyed.